Yo, what's up, everybody? Jumping here, and today I am back on some Neo 2. And there's something I wanted to talk about because I was going to make a brand new build video, but then I noticed something, and I decided I want to go ahead and make a video about this because I want to try to convince people to join Honda, the clan, in this game. Because this clan is kind of bizarre. And there was something I noticed, and it blew me away when I noticed this because I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's no way. And one reason I want to make this video is because I'm still confused about it. And I kind of want to give you guys a heads up about this if you don't know about it. But also, I want to get your opinion on it. You tell me what's going on here. Because, like, to me, this is crazy. But let me first talk about the Honda clan and what makes it good in general. Why it's always been a good clan. It was a good clan in Neo 1. In Neo 1, the two, like, top tryhard clans for the super end game, the Abyss, was Honda and Toto. Now, both the clans made a lot of sense because with Toto, you can get, like, a life bonus, depending on your stamina. And in Neo 1, at the end game, you could have 200 stamina. So, with 200 stamina and that life bonus, maybe 200 constitution, you would have, like, 10,000 life. You could get up there. And that would definitely allow you, with heavy armor, to survive in the Abyss at the higher levels. Well, Honda didn't give you a life bonus, but it does give you a tanky bonus, which allows you to take half the damage on the first hit when you're at full health. So that's really good, because if you can half the damage, there's a good chance you're not getting one shot at. Now, in my opinion, I always thought that Honda was better for if you weren't using heavy armor. And Toto was better if you are using heavy armor. To me, that just makes the most sense. Well, what I was going to do was I was going to switch my build, and I was going to actually probably end up using medium armor, maybe some light armor. And because of that, I said, I still want to be tanky, and I still want to recommend trying to be tanky, so I'm going to join Honda. Because that's a really good clan for medium armor or light armor, in my opinion. So that's what I did. And... Then I noticed something, and I was like, okay, I want to make a video to kind of talk about that. Now, another thing, too, by the way, I just want to point this out as well. Honda's been kicking ass lately, man. I don't know what this is about. But when the game first came out, first of all, the Toyo Tama clan, which I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm probably not, and I apologize if I'm not. But that clan's been number one from day one. It makes sense, because if you're trying to level up, that's the clan you want to be a part of. Now, at this point, a lot of people who are playing the game are probably level 300, so there's really no need to stay in that clan, and a lot of them have probably left that clan for that reason. So that makes sense. And, of course, the other clans are going to be a little bit more popular now because the Toyo Tama clan isn't as popular as it once was. People are at the maximum level right now, so people are going to leave that clan and pick another clan. Now, initially, when the game first came out, Toto was number two. I remember that. I was actually bragging to my friend, saying, look, I told you Toto is the way to go. Toto's my favorite clan. Man, I love Toto, because Toto actually had less people, at least if you look at the members, like, selection there. It had less people than some of the other clans, and I was like, it's number two, because so many tryhards has joined Toto. But now Toto has just dropped off of a cliff. I mean, it's number five. And it's getting whooped by all these other clans. So I think a lot of people who are in Toto might have left it and joined Honda. I don't know what's going on here. But yeah, Honda is kicking ass. Now, Gamo, that one makes sense because you get luck. So if you're farming smithing techs or if you're trying to get gear once you're max level, then yeah, that one makes a lot of sense. I actually made a video recently. I recommended that clan for farming smithing techs. So, yeah, I can see why that one is also popular. But Honda is catching up to Toyo. It's crazy, man. Honda is absolutely kicking ass. And I think that maybe what I'm about to talk about in this video might be the reason why. Now, let me actually go to the transfer option. And I just want to point something out. Because, you know, some people who are new to the game, they don't really understand this. I had to kind of talk about this in a couple of my videos. Which is the longer you're in a clan, the more bonuses you're going to get. Now, I'm not sure if the color of the clan affects it or not. I kind of think it does. In fact, I could swear that Toto was actually a blue clan, and now it's a red clan. Let me find Toto. Yeah, Toto's red. Maybe it was red this entire time, and I'm just tripping. But yeah, I thought it was blue. 
But whatever, you know, maybe the clans, they switch colors every once in a while. It's hard to say, but whatever. But yeah, like Toto, for example, if you're in this clan, the life bonus will switch to A, the damage bonus will switch to A, and I was recently a part of the Gamo clan, and with this one, I didn't have the maximum bonus, I had a B- minus for the consecutive attacks, and I had a 42 luck. Now, my guess would be that the luck bonus would be like 50, maybe 50-something, and of course, the damage bonus would be an A. Now, let's actually look at Honda. Now, Honda, the big tanky part is the damage taken half when you have full health. If you have, like, health regen, by the way, you're going to have that bonus kicking in all the time. It's really, really good. Now, that bonus goes up to 80%. That's where it's at for me right now. Now, the starting active skill damage is 4%. Now, when I first decided to join this clan, I thought, okay, the damage taken half is probably going to go up to 70 or 80%. I guessed that, and I said, the active skill damage is probably going to go up to 12% or 10%, somewhere around there. That's what I thought. Uh-uh, I was super wrong on that, and let me show you, because to me, this really blows my mind. If you actually look... The number two stat there, right underneath attack, is the active skill damage. It went up to 28%. That is crazy. That is seven times the starting number. I mean, just imagine that if you're talking about maybe the Gamma clan, it starts with 30 luck. Imagine if it gave you seven times that starting number. That would be unheard of. That is insane. Now... When I first seen this, I was talking to some friends and I said, yo, man, this is crazy. Like, I just noticed in my active skills or my special effects that it says that my active skill damage is 28%. And I have nothing boosting active skill damage besides the Honda Clan. Like, is it possible that that's real, that the Honda Clan is really giving me 28% active skill damage? And, you know, my friends was like, well, look through all your armor, you know, look through your weapons. And I was like, yeah, I looked through everything. I don't have active skill damage on anything okay the only thing i have is moonlit snow damage this is from my other build i do have this on my armor on every piece but that actually shows up in my special effects as well so let me just go ahead and show you everything so you can see it now if i go back to my status and my special effects you will see that there is Moonlit Snow damage. It's 48.9%. It's right underneath melee damage versus unscaped enemy. So yeah, I mean, this is crazy. Now, if I actually scroll down, you can also see there the damage taken halved. It's 80%. It's right there where you'll see damage taken over time, damage taken mid-attack, and then you'll also see damage taken halved unscaped, 80%. So, I mean, that's a really good effect, by the way. That's a really, really good effect. That's the main reason to join Honda. At least to me, that was the main reason. But now it's like 28% active skill damage. That is crazy. That is so, so good. Now, I've already done some testing, but I am now going to go into the dojo and kind of show this off because it's not exactly 28%, but it's pretty freaking close. Alrighty, now to properly test this, it can be complicated with damage in this game, that's just the reality of it, but I will be using a single hit skill, which I'm going to be using Imperative Strike, and I am going to be in mid stance, I don't have any bonus thing on it at all, so I just removed that completely, also I took off all my armor, so I lost Pretty much my set bonus. Let's see. What does this give me? It just gives me life. This just gives me some magic power. And then, yeah, this gives me, like, luck if I'm critical and life. So nothing is really giving me any extra damage here. And I'm in mid stance because I have 10 G on. I don't want to be in high stance. I don't want to get the damage bonus. Nothing like that. So that's what we're going to be doing. All right. So let me go ahead and now smack the skeleton using this move and i'm getting 37 12 off of that and let me just kill him and i'm going to do the same thing again and i don't have my key bonus damage either but let's go ahead and smack him 37 12 so that seems consistent so that's what we're going to go with and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to 
go and leave the clan. I'm going to leave all clans. I don't want to be a part of any clan at all. And that way, I'm not going to have any type of damage bonus. And we'll see the number. We'll see where it's at when I do that. Alrighty. Well, I just had a really good idea. Which is, if you can lose your connection, which on PlayStation, all you have to do is just go to network and disconnect it for a second. If you can lose your network connection, you can actually see your bonuses from the clan. That's something I've noticed before. So if you ever are wondering like how to check that, lose connection and if you take a look it says that it's giving me a plus 24 percent to my active skill damage like i said that's crazy that is seven times the starting number i mean really absolutely amazing but also it gives me the 30 percent bonus for the damage taken half so now i do have to reconnect to the internet that way, I can go ahead and leave the clan. And like I said, I'm just going to leave all clans. I'm not going to be part of any clan. I don't want any bonuses to mess up my numbers. And we're going to try to figure out, like, is this legit? Is it actually going to give me, like, a 28% bonus? Now, I already tested this, by the way. And I can tell you right now, it does, but it's slightly off. But then again, the math in this game is always slightly off. But I just want to show it because I don't want anybody to question it. All right, so if we use this now, I've left all clans. I can pledge to a new clan or just to a clan in general because I'm not a part of a clan at all. And now let's go back to the dojo and we are going to try this again. All righty, remember our original number was 3712. So I'm going to do the exact same move. I still don't have armor on. So, let's see what happens. Now we get 2987. So let's do that one more time, just to show it again. Make sure it's not a random number. Sometimes that happens, like you might get random numbers, but no. Same number, 2987. Now, I've already done this using like a calculator, trying to figure this out. But when you just look at the numbers, you can kind of immediately see, okay, you know, it's close because it's not like bugged in terms of it says 28%, but in reality, it's like 12% or something. It really is close to 28%. But in reality, it's not 28% exactly because that would be a higher number. But it's closer to 24% because if I take 2987 and then I multiply that by 24%, I end up getting 717, and if I add those two numbers together, it adds up to 3704, which is closer to our real result that we got, where if it was 28%, it would be like 3,800 something. At least it should be somewhere around there, so it would be like 100 extra damage. So I don't know. It's very bizarre, but still, I mean, the fact that you have such a big number to go to that is kind kind of crazy like getting 28 percent or getting 24 percent or whatever the number really is extra active skill damage is really nice plus you have the really tanky stat that allows you to take half the damage when you are at full health which is very easy to do in this game just because you have a lot of health regeneration if you have amarita absorption life recovery with a fast weapon like with my tonfa tank build i showed before that build is like practically unkillable and if you were in the Honda clan with that, you would basically be at full health all the time. And then every time you got hit, you would actually be taking half the damage that you normally would on that first hit. So that's really, really good stuff. Now, there's one last thing I want to do in this video to kind of like show you guys a little trick you can do. If you ever want to experiment with clans or just leave a clan because, you know, I left that clan. So that's a big bummer, right? Because now maybe my progress with that clan will go down. Or I would have to wait like 8 hours to rejoin the clan. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to show you a little trick you can do. If you want to play around with clans. And then you want to change your mind later. Because maybe you don't like what you decided to do. Because you were clan hopping. And then you're like oh man I made a mistake. I want to go back to my original clan I was in. I don't want to be a part of this other clan. But you also don't want to lose your bonuses. Plus you don't want to have to wait eight hours Alrighty. well on the playstation what you can do 
is you can actually back up your saves to a USB or you can use the cloud. And in this case, I'm going to show the cloud, but you can use a USB. If you don't have internet, like for example, the clans don't really affect much just because, well, you can't switch clans if you don't have internet. So that's just something to go with that. But what you can do on PlayStation is that you go to Application Save Data Management, and then you can go ahead and just make a copy of your save. So you can copy it to USB, or you can actually upload it to a system storage. Now, one thing I like to do is when I'm playing around with builds and stuff, like let's say I don't want to switch my clan, you know, really, but I want to switch my clan to try to experiment with a build. Or if I am going to upgrade something or if I'm going to put a bunch of inheritable effects on some armor, which I don't want to waste it because I'm not really sure if I really want to do that build or not, but I want to try to test it properly. I can do all that and then kind of exploit it using this system by just making copies of my save and then retrieving my save later. So if you go to upload your save, you have your actual file, which is your character data. You can tell it's your real one just based on the level. I have a level 55 there as well, but level 300, I know that's my main file. And then I have my system data. Now the system data, this is your clan. This is all your clan data. Like, it's all your system stuff too, but the clan is the main thing here. So if you actually make a copy of your system data, that will just save your clan. So if you want to switch clans, mess around, you know, do all types of stuff, go ahead. Like, just go right ahead. It's not a problem at all. And then just go and retrieve your save data. And then guess what? You're back in that original clan you were in initially. Same with if you want to play around with builds and stuff, you want to experiment, but then you're like, I don't really like it, I'm going to go back, I don't want to waste all this stuff, then just retrieve your character data. And yeah, I mean, so right now I'm going to do that. I am going to go ahead and just download my system data and also my character data. And at this point, it's going to restore all the stuff. I didn't do anything with the character, but still. There's other things you can do, by the way, to exploit this. I'll talk about that. I haven't done it, so... But if you want to do it, I know you can do it. I think I did it a little bit in Neo 1. But I don't really know how effective it is. But it is something you can do if you want to do it. So I'm going to get back on the game now and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Alrighty, well I'm back on the game. Let's go ahead and go to the Hidden Tea House and actually take a look. And if we look, I am in Honda still. It's like I never left it. So I mean, this is something you can do. If you want to play around with clans, if you want to try out different clans, there's plenty of examples from why you might want to do that. Let's say you want to make a ninja build or you want to make a mage build or something. I don't know. There's a clan somewhere in here. Here we go. Here's one. It's the ninja one, right? Let's say you think, okay, I want that 40 ninjutsu power, but I really like the clan I'm currently in. Maybe you're in a defensive clan. You're in actually Honda or something, and you really like Honda because it makes you tanky, and you're a little bit afraid that if you join this clan, for example, you might get that extra damage, but you're not going to be as tanky. So what you can do is you back up your save, you back up your system storage save, and then you join this clan, you experiment with it, see the damage difference, and then maybe play around a little bit, and then you realize, ah, man, I'm dying more using this clan, and the damage wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. I'm going to switch back. And then, yeah, just switch right back by just retrieving your save data. You don't have to wait eight hours. You also don't lose any progress. You're not going to lose, like, your treasure T utensil, none of that stuff if you do this. So it's a kind of neat trick you can do if you want to play around with builds and stuff like that. And it's the opposite if you want to maybe try to make a build and then you don't like the build and you just want to get rid of that build completely but you don't want to waste all your stuff you can do that with the character save data so like for example i already talked about this i noticed this with honda because i'm in the process of making a new build so i have all this stuff in my inventory it's ready to go i have the familiarity maxed out on almost everything but yeah so i have you know all this stuff and i'm going to apply that to my new build get life, get attack, get luck, and all the armor, all that good stuff. And then I'll play around with it, see if I like the build. If I like it, I'll keep it. If I don't like it, I won't keep it. 
and I'll just go and get my save data back. That way I don't waste all these inheritables and stuff like that because it's a lot of work actually getting the familiarity up. And it's also a lot of work grinding all that stuff. I don't want to do that. So I want to really commit to a build. I want to know that's a build I'm going to play with for a long time. I'm going to have fun with it. And I'm probably going to make a video about it too. So those are a couple things you can do. And there's one last thing you can also do with this whole uploading your save or making a copy of your save with the USB. There's another thing you can do that is kind of cheating, okay? Now, I'm not going to say that the people who are, like, stupidly high rank are doing this. It's possible. I don't know. I did do this in Neo 1 a little bit, but let me kind of show you. I haven't done it in Neo 2, though, but let me actually go to the top rank people. So, like, the top rank people, they have millions of glory. I don't know how they do it. I mean, look at me. I'm at 68,000. That's playing a bunch, man. I don't know how they have so much glory. But there is something I know you can do if you want to exploit. What you can do is you can actually make a backup copy of your character's save data. Now, remember, you have your system data. That's your clan. And then you have your character save data. Now, the thing is is that you can actually donate a bunch of stuff to the clan and then go and retrieve your character save data. And because they are separate, the clan will remember that you donated all this stuff. So you just keep doing that nonstop. Now, I'm not going to say that, you know, donating weapons and stuff is the way to go, but I can tell you donating tea utensils would be a way to do it. And I'm pretty sure tea utensils don't actually have any weight to them so you can hold as many of these things as you possibly can carry so like what you could do is just keep them all keep them all man just just have thousands of these things and if you donate thousands of tea utensils at a time you could be getting like 10 20 30 thousand even though there is diminishing returns i mean look like a blue tea utensils is going to give me 72 that's not much but if you had like a thousand blue tea utensils, that might be a lot. So just keep that in mind. This is something you could technically do if you wanted to cheat and actually get a higher ranking on the leaderboard. I don't really know if there's a purpose to doing that, though. I'm really not sure on how the treasured tea utensils work, for example. I don't know if you have to have a higher ranking or if you just have to be in the clan for a long time. When I was in Toto... I did actually get the treasure tea utensil, but now that I've been kind of swapping or switching clans, I don't have one. And it's a real bummer just because you lose a lot of luck and stuff when you don't have the treasure tea utensil. But being that I don't have it, I need to get it. And I think I'm going to stay in Honda. I really do. I don't think I'm going to be leaving Honda because I love Toto. Toto has my heart. But Honda, Honda is amazing. So... Definitely go out and join Honda, guys. That's why I wanted to make the video. Just to let you guys know that Honda is great. I would actually recommend it because it's really good for being tanky and defensive. But 28% active skill damage. I remember in reality, for my testing, it was more like 24%. But still, that's a lot of extra damage you can get. And you're going to be using skills all the time anyway. So definitely join Honda. I think it's definitely worth it. Alrighty guys, well that's going to do it for this video. I hope that you have enjoyed it and that this has helped. If it has, will you please like the video for me? Be sure to subscribe, especially if you're interested in Neo 2. I'm going to be trying to bring out more videos. And if you are interested, make sure to click the bell. That's the only way to stay notified. It's super important now on YouTube, so make sure you click that bell. I really do hope that everyone has a very nice day. And peace out.